After you have your goat secured in a stand, um, you're going to come along and feel for the last rib. It's easy to feel along the side. And then feel for the end of the spine, known as a transverse process. You're going to put your, your fingers in that little notch and let your thumb fall kind of where it would naturally fall. And this is the area that we're going to be collecting the sample from. So we're going to go in and find where the skin is. And then we're going to lay the clippers next to the skin and go up approximately two inches. Then we're going to gather the sample, trying to keep it in its original architecture with the cut side all together. And we're going to put this into our pre-labeled bag. To collect our DNA sample, we need to pluck guard hair from the goat. The easiest place to do this is somewhere on the ridge line where it's the guard hair standing up or the tail. Um, we have to make sure that when, we, when you do the guard hair, you get the follicle bulb that's at the end of the guard hair. Um, there's no DNA in the guard hair, so if we don't have the follicle bulb on the end, the sample will not be usable. Um, but either place that you can get it is fine. You just need to look at it and make sure that you have the bulb on there and you'll need at least 20 hairs that have the bulb on them in order for them to extract enough DNA.